Now the third quarter about to get going. Excellent game we've seen from Kyrie Irving. 18 points, and he's been delivering a healthy dose of helpers, too. He really has, Clark, always with his head up, looking to make the pass, trying to find the open man. Nets trail by nine. And, and a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. Duran is out there with Paul Milson. Then there's Irving. Then it's Harden, and it's Monroe, and at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here is Bryant. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. He's got room. The shot is off. And the Lakers going the other way now. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their league. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And former coach of the year Byron Scott now with the Lakers and as you said Greg he's not an analytics guy and Clark I, I think he's a guy that uh, the eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion and I think that all is evident in his coaching style. LeBron's shot is good. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks that Coach for. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. And Kobe, here we go. Can't hit. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Harden dishes to Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to Kobe. He feeds it to Davis. And that one's good. Davis has got his third basket of the night. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. Irving kicks to Harden. Screen by Monroe. Irving for three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. The drive by LeBron. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Durant kicks to Irving. Again, Irving missing. You've got to give him a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. It's Durant with the drive. Excellent D from Howard. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for him. Davis with it, guarded now by Durant. And Davis can't get it to go. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Millsap a screen. Durant for three. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. No one near James as he lets it go. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Timeout called the Nets. Hey guys, the Lakers last season were just a completely different team after Kobe's injury. Not, not so much in results, but just in how they played on the floor. They actually fared better without Kobe than most thought they would. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Los Angeles. Harden outside. He kicks it to Durant. The jump hook and off the glass. That one's good. Durant's got 12 points in the game. And for the Lakers without Kobe last season, it was really a, a stark difference in styles of play and quality. No single person, Clark, stepped in to carry their offense. It took a group effort. Well, you know, it was almost April, Kevin, before somebody surpassed Kobe in field goal attempts on mm -hmm. the team. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they build the offense this year. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. 
Harden outside. The three. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got his third rebound tonight. Outside Westbrook. Uncovered. Millsap grabs the miss. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Irving against James. Irving passes to Millsap. Nails the baby hook. Millsap's got 10 points. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Westbrook against Irving. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. Now here's Irving. 21 points in the game. He dishes it to Durant. The turnaround. Rebound the Lakers. Westbrook's got three rebounds so far in the game. There's the pass to Howard. Stolen by Monroe. Harden kicks to Durant. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's foul number two for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Irving from long range. That is good. Irving's got six points in the quarter. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Westbrook drives in. Howard trying to free himself up. And the shot is good. 13 points for Russell Westbrook. Nets trail by 13. Irving with it. Westbrook picks him up. From deep. And again, it's Kyrie Irving with the triple. Irving's got nine points now in just the second half. Yeah, they're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. Howard setting the pick for Westbrook. Feeds to Howard. Over to the left wing. Ellington. The rebound by Harden. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. There's the three. The shot no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. Last season was difficult for Dwight Howard, to say the least, across the board. Worse since, in fact, his rookie year. Yeah, he just wasn't able to stay healthy. I mean, looks dominant in spurts. Gets you thinking, okay, he's back then. His body betrays him. And talking about Howard, always a perennial double-doubles leader. Last year, through the injuries, he dropped down to 23 total double-doubles. But that was in only 41 games. So the average over an 82-game stretch would have put him in the top five once again. So clearly, he has a lot left when he's healthy. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Booker, he's checked in for Monroe. Johnson comes in for Paul Milson. And it's Mills in for Irving. Here's Westbrook. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. It's Westbrook with the drive. It's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. Getting back to Dwight Howard, I think he's at a crossroads physically. Had back and knee issues. It's highly unlikely he can be 100% for a full season. You just hope to have him happy and healthy for your most important game. You know, he's got a lot of inches on the defender in that matchup, and he can just shoot right over the top of him without worrying about being bothered. With the fadeaway, and Durant sends it back. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. So it'll be James Harden shooting. 
they get Russell Westbrook. Well, for James Harden, with his incredible regular season last year, Clark, you knew he was in for a great postseason as well. And it was a bit of a roller coaster for him in the playoff run. I mean, he could vanish one game, but then explode for 40 in the next. Los Angeles making a switch here. Young's checked in. Free throw drops for Harden. And with Harden in the playoffs, it was an all-or-nothing situation at times. He definitely stole some games for Houston in their run to the conference finals. But, man, did he have a rough one when they were eliminated by the Warriors. Pass his shot. Good. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the basketball. Mills dishes to Durant. For the two-handed dunk. And how about the footwork? Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish to go along with it. Excellent work around the basket. You're right, GA. Left his man lunging and reaching for him. That was something else right there. And the Lakers with possession here. After the basket by Brooklyn. Ariza gets the bass. Bank shot. No good. And you know that tough game for Harden in the conference finals a dozen turnovers for him set an NBA record for most turnovers in a playoff game. Not how he wanted to go out but he showed he can carry a team for stretches during the playoff. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Mills with the steal. Oh and a fast break for the Nets. And there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's on Nick Young. No, I tell you what he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. The Nets have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. And he can't get the first one. And the Nets making a change here. Robinson's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Bazemore's checked in. And he sinks the second. And, and last season, the Nets made sure nobody went off against them. They, they would lose games, but they did a great job of limiting an opposing star from taking over. Baz, a screen on Johnson. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Nets trail by four. And here's Mills. He's got five. There's a screen by Robinson. Just five to shoot. Harden inside the three-point line. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Harden's got 17 now. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Baysmore misses. And the net shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. There's a screen by Robinson. Johnson goes in. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And look, Joe Johnson last season, not his best statistically. But boy, did he show some heart. I mean, he was one of the catalysts for Brooklyn making the playoffs, especially when Brooke Lopez returned healthy and, and the two could play off of one another. No good on that one. Talking about Joe Johnson, I'm not going to lie. Last year wasn't one of his best statistically, Clark. His shooting accuracy was on the low end. His turnover numbers were high. It just it wasn't very pretty. But for Joe, Kevin, I don't think it was about the numbers last year. It was about wanting to compete and to win. And he's developed a champion's will over the years. And I would like to see him finally achieve his goal of Maybe winning the championship. I think he deserves it. He's been consistent. He's been solid. And now you see some maturation with him as well. Now, here is Young. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. 
141 left to play in the third. Mills passes to Harden. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Harden's got seven points for the quarter. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. Young outside. Here's Bazemore, guarded by Harden. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. 56 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. The dish to Booker. Passes it to Mills. Out to the right wing. Here's Robinson. It's rebounded by Bass. Bass has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's Rondo penetrating. Here's Bazemore. Harden with the defensive effort. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They set the screen. Another miss by Harden. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Young up top, covered by Mills. Let's it go from 11. Shot no good. Sweet move to get free, but just could not convert there in the end. And we've reached the end of the third. Los Angeles on top, up by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Lakers leading by four, taking a look at the Lakers. Anthony Davis is out there with Howard, and there's Bryant, then it's LeBron James, and it's Westbrook in at the one spot. Now here's Davis. And there's a whistle that goes against Greg Monroe. That's his first foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. And here is Los Angeles now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Harden knocks it away. They get it back. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Bryant. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And that's now seven points for Kobe Bryant. Kobe getting it done. Just a gorgeous shot that time. Harden against Bryant. Millsap sets the pick for Harden. It's Millsap with the drive, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Westbrook, and Durant sends it back, and they're able to recover. That's trail by six. Screen by Monroe. It's Durant on the wing, covered by LeBron. Monroe against Westbrook makes it off the glass. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. Yeah, the defense is all about disrupting timing and spacing, and, and what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Here's LeBron after the made shot from Greg Monroe. A shot by LeBron, no good. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively, limit his easy chances inside. Irving with a key look. And the rebound goes to Howard. Lakers leading by four. Baseline try. That doesn't go either for Bryant. The Nets have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Harden gets to Millsap. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why. I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Now, here's Bryant. 
LeBron outside. And there's the defensive three-second call. falls for Westbrook on occasions last year the, the Lakers were all right on offense other times uh, they were just stagnant they, they, there was just no motion nothing going on that's a great point and their ball movement could, could use some work a lot of isos last season and it killed a lot of the flow the team had in the half court and finished off by Westbrook wow and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, partner? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. You know, for the Lakers, they were okay in the assist department, guys, but they were dead last in the league in secondary assists. That to me is indicative of an inefficient offense and also a new stat category. Here is Durant following the basket by Anthony Davis. Durant dishes the Millsap. Back to Durant. Rebound the Lakers. And for the Lakers and that secondary assist that that just means they aren't making the extra pass or it means they are holding on to the ball too long. Either way, it hurts the offer. And Bryant wide open. He shoots. Picks it out to James. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebound by Monroe. Next trail by seven. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Lakers. Two straight seasons of no playoffs for the Lakers after last year's miss. Not what they were hoping for. It's, it's going to be a growing process, Kevin. I mean, they had a young team and an injured superstar in Kobe both years. Hard to make the playoffs in that situation. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. And as always, Doris, thank you. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh -huh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move for the bucket for him. I'll tell you what, he may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. So here's Westbrook. James Harden picking up that last basket. Now here's Westbrook. Clock at four. And he throws it down hard with one hand. I tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't. Otherwise, he'd probably have a 45-minute delay here. He shattered the backboard. You know, they've been outstanding on the boards, and it's a big reason why they've got a lead. Doing the dirty work down low. We call that a collabo because everybody's boxing out and making sure they secure the glass. Now here's James following the shot by Kevin Durant. And Clark, they're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. Yeah, I think so, but I don't think the clock is a factor right now, at least not yet. I mean, they don't need to change their pace of play. Keep attacking. I'm not really sure. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. Irving's shot is good. 
You know, I think when you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, a good shooter, the kick out's the only choice. Lakers leading by nine. Westbrook kicks to James. That's good. James has got 20 points. Now they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. Now, here is Irving. The tray, and the shot is good. Irving's got 14 points now in the second half. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. It's LeBron with the drive. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Yeah, no doubt about that one with the over-the-back call. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to take him for a ride right there. Easy call. Davis sets a screen. Harden against Kobe. To the inside, Millsap with the steal. He won a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Davis sets a screen. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got six rebounds in the game. A 19-foot shot. And that one hits back iron. But that would have been lucky had it fallen. Poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it, are you kidding me? And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Well, we all know how loud NBA arenas can get. I mean, last season there were some accusations thrown around that it wasn't all organic. I mean, some players felt as if some of the NBA crowd noise was artificial. Hmm. One shot. One shot. And the technical free throw is good. Some heavy accusations about artificial noise being pumped in last year. We've seen the issue in the NFL, talked about now in the NBA. Uh, seeing it in other sports, there's a case that maybe the NBA's got to deal with this. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I know some stadiums, it might feel like there is extra noise being pumped in. And, and listen, there are a lot of fan bases that we have are just flat out loud. I mean, it can be electric. But having said that, I don't think we want to have the artificial noise being pumped in. I think it does the game a disservice. Now here's Davis following the miss by Paul Milsa. Rebound, Brooklyn. Monroe's got rebound number eight now on the night. Harden the pass to Millsap. That three off the mark. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, you may not be as lucky next time down if you're the defense. You cannot allow him to get those kinds of looks. They get it back. Bryant dishes to Howard. And here's James outside. The shot is off. And Brooklyn will come the other way. As their comeback bid had better get started. I think there's still enough time for him here, Kevin. No. I think there's a good chance they can make it happen. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Check out the game for Durant. Eight rebounds and a couple of great-looking rejections. So far, two blocks. Yeah, you know, he's had a great feel for their ball movement down low and for where to be when the shot's going up. You look at Kevin Durant, and he does have a bit of an unusual body type. Still is fairly thin, even after eight years in the league. Yet, up until last season, he'd been one of the more durable players in the league. Kind of like Reggie Miller in that regard. 
talking about Durant's physical makeup some scouts were actually worried about his athleticism when he declared for the draft after just one year at Texas at the at the NBA combine Greg you were talking about this he posted some of the worst numbers of all the top prospects yeah, he, he did but, but I tell you what he did blow people away with his length 610 with a seven Ooh. foot five inch arm span I mean that makes up for a whole lot in this league and as we've seen throughout his Hall of Fame career I think it's worked out pretty nice I think it has to now here's Bryant back to Westbrook five to shoot screen by Howard it's Westbrook with the drive rejected by Millsap they retain possession and, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs definitely saved the layup with that foul and he'll make him earn him from the line and that's what you want to see the first one falls well, you know, the Nets were able to sneak into the playoffs as the eighth seed last year. Had some good wins against the Western Conference, and that really was a big boost for them getting to the postseason. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Nets were just under 500 against the Western Conference last season. In the East, that is a very respectable mark. Yeah, I mean, how about they were actually better against the West than the East a season ago. Their win percentage against the Western teams was narrowly better than games against the East. And it's slammed in by Monroe. Plain one-hand flush. I love it. Clark, I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Yeah, the one hand lets you get up higher. No doubt about it. At least it looks like that from this angle. Now here's Bryant. Davis sets a screen. Davis with a screen on Irving. Westbrook with it. He's picked up by Nilsson. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, you got to put a body on your man when the shot goes up. That's just fundamental basketball. They're giving up way too many offensive rebounds. Harden outside. Steps back and shoots. Dishes it to Durant. Look at that shot! How did that go in? How about that? Oh! <laughs> Lakers leading by seven. 158 left to play here in the fourth. And Durant sends it back, but he recovers it. Kobe against Harden. Six on the shot clock. And the basket good. That's 12 points for Kobe Bryant. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Westbrook with the steal. Here's Davis. Makes a big high pounce and goes in. And it's an 11-point Los Angeles lead. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He jumped center stage now. From deep Harden. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Bryant. Not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them, fighting for every loose ball. And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coast. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead kind of attack that they have. On the free throw, no good. Clark, another milestone for Kobe Bryant last season. He reached 30,000 points and 6,000 assists, and no one else has ever done that. Well, it's rare that you see scores of that volume reach an assist total that high, mm -hmm. but I think it speaks to Kobe's passing ability, which is undervalued and overshadowed at times. 
and Kobe Bean Bryant, the only 30,000 point scorer to go along with 6,000 assists. You know, LeBron might be the next in line to join Kobe in that category. First free throw is good. And for Kobe, people have always joked that he's a ball hog and only looks to score. Well, he's the only guy in the history of the league right now with 30,000 points to go along with 6,000 assists. So obviously gifted as a playmaker as well. A platoon swap here for Brooklyn. And both free throws good for Howard. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Lakers. Steve, I agree. And you know, I think the attitude was very impressive. Mm -hmm. and Clark, you had talked about this before the game. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they put a tremendous performance in in terms of effort and intensity, and they deserve to win this one. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. Just a quality win, and, and you look at the box score and some really good numbers for Westbrook. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? LeBron, tell us about this team's approach defensively and how you felt the team played in that aspect. It's a tough team to guard off the bounce. They're so athletic, they're so quick, but uh, that's a good job by all of us defensively, and uh, it's always good uh, to get a win on the road. It takes all five guys to guard. Thank you, LeBron. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. He just put it completely out of reach in the fourth quarter. It was as if he was saying, OK, enough fooling around. I'm taking over now. Shaq, your thoughts? When you're facing Westbrook, you're always going to have your hands full. And tonight, he proved that once again. There's only one thought going through Russell's head. Attack, attack, attack. I know that was three thoughts, Kenny. They asked an awful lot from him tonight offensively, and he delivered. When they needed a big bucket, he was the guy they turned to, and he delivered, like I said. I mean, this guy was unbelievable. He did not shy away from the moment. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.